Hey, welcome back to Fritz Hoppy on YouTube. I apologize for last week not getting the video out. I had a sculpture show actually in the Black Hills here. Sculpture in the Hills is what it was called. Uh, I'm going to be very busy this summer. Like I said, I may miss some weeks, so I'm going to do my best to get these videos out to you. So today I'm going to be talking about this new piece right here because I'm going to show you a tip that would probably help you out tremendously if you're trying to sculpt any sort of anatomy whether it be people or animals, uh, or if it's polymer clay, plastiline clay, monster clay, you know, that stuff I all talked about in uh, one of the previous videos. I think today will help you out a lot because there are different ways to sculpt muscle structure and anatomy. You can carve, you can measure, you can do all sorts of different things. There's all sorts of different techniques, but this is one where it really lets out the true artistic nature because all you're doing is looking at uh, a still life or a photo. I actually did this from memory. My art teacher used to tell me don't draw or sculpt from memory, but I don't always listen to her. Uh, it's good to have reference in front of you like a photo or something, but whatever you use, uh, this is a way that you can just go at the sculpture and start moving the clay around because uh, you know I've said before you can carve or move the clay around but this is a way where you can just uh, use your artistic license if you know what that is which means your ability to uh, be creative change up things make them different without uh, degrading the quality of your artwork and behind me here is a 4,000 year old prehistoric bison skull fossil it's actually not mine. A friend of mine brought it in the other day because a lot of these types of fossils are found on people's land around the Black Hills. So I thought that'd be a nice little prop to show you. Uh, you can see he's offering up a prehistoric bison skull. This is a little bit more contemporary of a sculpture. It's not 100% realistic. So that's why I think this technique was really fitting into this piece. So. Uh, at the end of the video, hit the like button if you like this video and please comment down below and give me your feedback. Tell me if you've ever done a technique like this before. I would love to hear that. So let's get right to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer the muscles. You just need to have a basic understanding of muscle structure and anatomy to do this. This is a great example here where I use the pectoral muscles just like they would come out in a normal person where the chest muscles will almost connect in sort of a fan pattern in the middle. You can see how I just layer these pieces on here. Try to keep them consistently and even. Then I could kind of press down and smash them in just a little bit so that they flatten out with each other in a uniform pattern. Now one thing I want to show you is that if I'm doing two sides, which you always do in muscles, I mean unless you're doing like the spine or something, is I'll take two pieces of clay that are equal volume so they're the same shape and size. And that way, when I put them on, as I am doing here with these neck muscles, they're fairly even. And that just saves me a lot of headache when I'm trying to balance out the anatomy of this piece right here. And you just sort of build up these muscles. Then after doing this for a while, you'll notice that suddenly you have a very well-defined figure. Because you usually don't want to avoid a stick figure, even in a sculpture like this, which is going to be a contemporary piece, where it will maybe resemble a stick figure, but it's not going to be just a stick figure because that's just not a very good display of artistic skill or ability if you're going to make something that's 
too simple. I'm not really someone who makes really abstract art. I like contemporary and a little bit of abstraction to leave room for interpretation, but uh, I like to demonstrate my knowledge of anatomy and art and show that off a little bit in these pieces. And you can do that by having a well-defined muscle structure in a living figure, which is what this piece will represent. I'll put this anatomy chart right here for you to look at. Even though I sculpted this piece from memory, I think it's still great to use reference because you need to think about every single muscle fiber and add each one one at a time. So you need to think about how they're behaving from where they're pulling. Certain muscles are going to be contracting. And uh, these are all things that you need to take into account and just work at it slowly until the piece starts to slowly form up. And then when you're finished, you'll see that you actually have a very well-defined anatomy in the sculpture. By the way, this is the J-Mac Classic Medium Firm Clay. So it's right in the middle in hardness. Uh, check out my video on that if you haven't seen that video. So once we're finished, we can get a good look at this piece and see that we actually are looking at what seems to be almost like something from that Body Worlds exhibit. If you've ever heard of that, it's kind of uh, different. They're like real human bodies on display, uh, preserved using something called plastination. That's kind of what this looks like to me, and that's sort of what I was going for. So I'm pretty happy with where it's at right now. Click the link below to go to my website to see some of my finished pieces. This one is called Offering the Bison Skull. It's a concept that's been used before in sculpture, but I've given this one in an elongated form, and he's holding a prehistoric bison skull, so it has a primitive feel to it. Well, I hope that helps for all of you today. Uh, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, Fritz Hoppy on YouTube. Uh, there's all sorts of sculpting techniques. This one I think is very important for anyone who wants to sculpt people or animals. Uh, sculpting muscles is never easy, as you know. And uh, this is just one of the many ways that you can do it and become a true artist by unleashing your creative skills. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.